are watching prophetic messages with Apostle Petrus Alpha. For more of these prophetic transformative messages, subscribe to our channel. You can also visit our website www.petrosalpha.org To support the ministry through partnership, offerings, and seeds, contact us on email info at petrosalpha.org or the graceman petros at gmail.com You can as well easily call us on WhatsApp number plus 260-770-277-358 Plus three three seven double five seven nine five nine three eight. God bless you wherever you are watching me. I am very happy and excited that we are meeting again. And today we are going to talk about something that is very important. We want to discuss about possession and oppression. We can open our Bibles in the book of Exodus chapter 3. We are going to read from verse 9. Now therefore... Behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppress them. The Bible is talking about the oppression that was upon the children of Israelites. There is an issue that we call oppression. God is saying here that I have seen the oppression of my people. What God has seen, it is the oppression. Now, what does oppression mean? And what do that mean when a person is under oppression? Is oppression the same as being possessed? Is oppression the same as being possessed? There is oppression. And there is being possessed. But the two, they are similar, but they are not the same. But now you shall see that in the Bible, God is saying that I have seen the oppression of my people. Now, therefore, come Moses, let me send you so that you can deliver my people. Which means a person who is oppressed and a person who is possessed, they both need deliverance. The one who is oppressed and the one who is possessed, they need deliverance. But we shall come to realize that the way demons operate is not the same. When a person is, in, is being attacked, a person can be attacked by demons through oppression. A person can be attacked by demons through means of being possessed, which is possession. As I have said only earlier on that these two, they are not the same, but the Bible is saying here, I have seen the oppression of my people, which means oppression, it can be seen when it is happening. Now, hear me very well. Oppression is an act of exercising the power unjustly or authority unjustly. Now, if you didn't know, I want you to know something that demons, they have authority, actually. Remember the, 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 the issue of Daniel. The Bible says Daniel prayed and decided to mourn for a certain number of days. But when he started to pray, his answer was given. God answered Daniel. But Daniel did not get his answer in his hands. The Bible clearly says that when God had answered Daniel, the answer of Daniel was beholden in the spiritual realm by the prince of Persia. Who is the prince of Persia? The prince of Persia is a principality. The prince of Persia, it is a demon. The prince of Persia is the king under evil power who operates in the spiritual realm. Now, when people of God pray, it is the duty of the demon of the prince of Persia to stop their answers. As God answers, the prince of Persia binds the answers. He takes away the answers or he closes the doors for angel Gabriel which means God have answered. Now, what the prince of Persia is doing right now, he is using his authority unjustly against Daniel. That's why you see that the Bible says, when Daniel had to continue praying and praying and praying, God had to realize that I have released the answer of Daniel. But why is Daniel still praying? Why is Daniel still crying unto me? Why is Daniel still mourning? I have given the answer. The answer was in the hands of the prince of Persia. 
Now, now demons, they have authority. As the prince of Persia was having authority over the solution of Daniel or the answer of Daniel, he has also authority over certain people or certain groups of people in life. Now, you shall see that demons, they oppress or they target people and attack people in different ways. They target people, number one, by oppressing them. Number two, they target people by possessing them. Now, today we are going to go deeper in the issue of oppression and the issue of possession. As you need to understand that every demon has authority. But now Romans chapter 13 that, that then says, there is no power other than the, the, than the power of God, which means let every power be subject unto the higher powers. Now, in this case, what is the higher power? The higher power is the power of God. But when we have the higher power, which is the power of Jesus or the power of God, it does not mean that the devil does not have power. The reason why people are still struggling up to this day and suffering up to this day, it is because they are being targeted by evil spirits. They are being targeted by demons. And demons, they attack them in different ways in life. Now, if a person cannot understand how the demon is attacking him, he cannot be able to find his solution. So now, we are going to talk about two ways which demons use to attack people. Some of you, you wonder, you are a Christian, you always pray every time, you speak in tongues, you are filled with the Spirit of God, you read the Bible every day, you have good dreams, no nightmares there, but still your life is still not moving. You are like experiencing stagnation in your life. Nothing is happening. No successful life comes ahead of you. You always face failure. You always face challenges. You don't know exactly are you possessed with a demon or you are being oppressed. Now I know that point some of you you will not understand. Now let me, let, let me explain to you. When a person is being pro uh, uh, oppressed, it simply means that the demon or the oppressor is oppressing the person or attacking the person outside of the body by monitoring. There are certain demons that attack people in the form of monitoring them. When they monitor and they see whatever that you want to achieve or whatever that you want to do, then they release a spirit that will hinder you. Let me give an example. Some of you, you might be called for interviews. You are called for an interview today. You speak in tongues. You are filled with the Spirit of God. You have no problem. You have good dreams. You feel the anointing every time. But when the demon now of oppression sees that you are about to go for an interview, it does not come inside your spirit. It does not come inside your body. But it goes or sends another demon that goes to the person who shall interview you. Or it goes with your papers, your documents, and your applications. When it goes there now, when you go for an interview, that's when you see that you do your interview properly. But when you finish, the manager will just feel that he doesn't want to hire you. But yet the vacancy is still there. That is what we call oppression. When you are in a form of oppression, you are being attacked by a demon that is not staying inside your body. The demon that is attacking you stays outside of the body. Are you getting that? Oppression is an exercise of authority in an unjust way. Now, oppression, the Greek word of oppression is called katapies, which means when you are in a state of being oppressed, you are in a state of, of katapies. Katapies is a Greek word that means oppression. When a person is being oppressed, he can try to do anything that he wants to do, but he will not manage. Why? Because there is a monitoring demon. When the demon monitors and sees, it puts you in a position of catapiasing. It puts you in a position of suffering. It puts you in a position of, of, of difficulty. It puts you in a position of, 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 of failure. You see you are failing, but you don't get bad dreams. You pray in tongues. You go to a very good church, a living church, but still you are still facing failure in your life.
You are in a state of catapiesi, which is a state of oppression, whereby the demon attacks you and targets you, but not operating from inside your body, but from outside of your body. It goes before you, as God also go before you. If you read the Bible in the book of Isaiah chapter 45, the Bible says, I shall go before you and level every mountain. I shall break the gates of, of bronze. I shall break the gates of iron. Why is going God before you? It is the system of God that whenever he's sending a messenger somewhere, whenever he's sending someone to do something, whenever God wants you to do something in life, he goes before you and scatter every stumbling block that is ahead of you. Now, the devil has come to a position that he operates in such a way as well, whereby he does not have the ability to enter inside your body. When the devil fails to enter inside your body, he chooses to operate outside of your body. When the devil is operating outside of your body, you are in a state of catapiesi. You are in a state of oppression, whereby the demon is not inside your body. The demon is not inside your blood. The demon is not inside your stomach. The demon is not inside your soul. But the demon is operating from outside in the atmosphere. Whereby it creates what is called spiritual roadblocks. When a person is facing spiritual roadblocks, he is facing a situation of catapiercing. Whereby he is being oppressed. He is brought into, into suffering. There is an unjust use of authority by demons. Whereby they see, they look into whatever that you want to do and they go before you and they release an attack on whatever that you want to achieve. You are in a position of cutter piercing. This is oppression. So many people, when they are failing in life, they think that they have demons. There are so many cases whereby people suffer not because they have demons, no, but because they are being oppressed. So if you do not know that the demon that is attacking you is operating from outside, it simply means when you start to pray, your prayers, they can be prayers, but they, are, they, they will not reach the target. You are praying amiss because you don't know what you are praying against. You don't know where to target. It's like shooting without aim, whereby you just take a gun or a catapult, then you begin to shoot without, but without any, any, any aim. So when you are shooting without an aim, you are not understanding the target. Now, you need to understand the difference between oppression and the difference between uh, oppression and, 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 and possession, or being possessed or being oppressed. So when you are being poor or oppressed, you are in a situation or whereby the demon is not in your house. The demon is not in your family. The demon is not in your church. But the demon is monitoring you in the spiritual realm. Remember the Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. We do not fight against flesh and blood. But against the principalities, wild rulers, powers. Wild rulers, spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Are you hearing that? Spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Which means the demons that oppress, they don't stay in your house. They don't stay in your body. They stay outside of your body. Why? Because they don't have the ability to enter inside your soul. They don't have the ability to enter inside your body. They don't have the ability to enter inside you. But they can operate and use their powers and justice as they operate outside of your house or outside of your body. So which means it's something that you need to understand and something that you need to realize. Because if you cannot realize the difference between cutter PSC, which is oppression, and the difference between uh, and, 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 and possession, you cannot have a proper targeted, targeted prayers. You will pray amiss. Are you hearing this? So you need to understand, this is the situation where, where, where Pharaoh was using the Israelites. But, but, but Pharaoh was not in the houses of the Israelites. Pharaoh was not staying in Goshen. They were in the same land which is Egypt. But he was using his authority as he was monitoring the Israelites. And he saw that the Israelites, they are increasing upon the land of Egypt. He started to give them hard labor. He started to give them taskmasters. Taskmasters are the demons that are signed by the bigger demon to go before the people in the form of cutter which is oppression. So Pharaoh as the oppressor, 
he had to release the taskmasters. And when the taskmasters were going around and about, they had to give hard labor to the Israelites or the Hebrew people so that they would not continue increasing and multiplying upon the earth. But if you read the Bible in the book of Exodus, the Bible says besides the oppression of Pharaoh, the Israelites continued to multiply in the land of Egypt. They continued to increase to an extent that Pharaoh then decided to kill all the young men that were being born. Why is Pharaoh failing to control the Israelites but yet they are in the same land? It is because he is not inside them but he is operating from outside. He does not have the ability to go inside them and control their mindset. So when, when, when you are facing an attack from, 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 from a demon of oppression, the demon of oppression cannot manipulate your mind because it cannot work from inside you. But it can operate and manipulate other people's mind or things that are around you or things that are uh, uh, close to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying right now? So you need to understand that oppression is, is, is from, is, it happens from outside of your body. It does not happen from inside of your body. So a demon of oppression cannot end up. Now I want you to see the example of oppression that I can give. You know, you have your mind, you have your, your, your mouth, you have everything. But when you are in a state of oppression, the demon cannot control your mouth. The demon cannot control your mind. The demon cannot control your plans. You can plan, you can speak, you can think. But it can control the end result. Are you hearing me? Because here, yeah, what Pharaoh was targeting, it was the end result, which is the multiplication of Israelites. Because he said, if these people continue to increase, one day they can join hands with our enemies and overthrow us. So, which means when you are in a state of catapiasy, the targeted point is the end result, which is the end solution. If you want to become a businessman, you can plan and write things on papers. You can go to university. The demon can allow you to do those things. But the end result after you start your business to make profits, it is what now the oppressor targets how? By releasing demons that are called taskmasters. When those demons are released, they end inside people that you're working with and they begin to manipulate and play around with your business and you begin to face losses. Then you see that a person says, I've tried business, but it failed. But I, but I go to church. I'm a Christian. What has happened with my life, I don't know. You are in a position of catapiasy. So you need to understand that oppression, the demon does not work from inside, but it works from outside. Are you hearing what I'm teaching you right now? Because these things of oppression, I want you to understand, if you read the Bible in the book of 2 Kings chapter 4, from verse 1 to verse 2, or continuing, the Bible says, Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And know, thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. Are you hearing that? Which simply means even the pastors, they can suffer and their life can scatter because of oppression. They will pray. Demons cannot enter inside them, but they will oppress them from outside. Are you hearing that? Which means this lady, she was in a position of oppression. This is oppression. Whereby the, 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 the one who is the creditor, who has given the, the prophet money, he is now using his power and authority in an unjust way. He is not staying with the woman. He does not stay in the house of the woman. He is not operating anything from the house of the woman. No, he is from outside. But now because he has authority, the man who you have taken credit, you have died already. But this one who is there, the creditor, he is now coming to take away the children that does not know anything about that. Are you hearing that? It's now oppression. Use of authority in an unjust way. So which means this lady was in a position of cut up yes. There are so many people right now. You are suffering in your life. Yet you are being oppressed by demons of death. You know those demons of death whereby your father, your grandfather, grandfather, you have killed someone in a long way. And it becomes a spirit that does not enter inside the bodies of people, no. But it oppresses people from outside. It makes sure that everyone in the same blood and the same lineage, they encounter failure in their life. It is oppressing. No movement will be there. No movement, no success, no victory. So 
there are those kinds of demons that people does not know about. They are called to oppress people. They are called to oppress people. We have also situations of re reality in life whereby people oppress people. Even countries whereby kings, presidents, they oppress people. And yet people, they have their right because they are staying in their own country. They have freedom of speech. They have everything. But because they, 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 there is a demon that have entered them, they can begin to oppress the people who have their own rights. How do they oppress? By limiting whatever they want to do. They release taskmasters to monitor whatever they do, to monitor whatever they speak in their freedom of speech. It monitors when you speak in out and it binds you. Are you hearing that? So Kata PSC is one of the most difficult position whereby it is very difficult to get deliverance unless you know what, what exactly you are fighting against. So before you start going to say, man of God, pray for me, I need deliverance. Understand your situation. Study and understand your situation. Are you in a situation whereby you are possessed by a demon or you are in a situation whereby you are under oppression? When you are under oppression, it has its own way of deliverance. And when you are being possessed, it has also its own way of deliverance. That is why you see that deliverance is one of the things that have become difficult nowadays. In the sense that if you go to churches, some people will be prayed for. There's some demon will be manifesting each and every Sunday. Today it manifests, next week it manifests again. Whenever you meet a man of God, wherever you go, a demon will manifest upon your life. What is wrong? What is happening? Why are you not getting deliverance? You cannot get deliverance until you understand the current position where you are standing. What exactly are you fighting against? No wonder why Paul had to write this scripture and say, we do not fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities. He was clearly stating that everyone who would want to engage in a battle, you must understand exactly what you are fighting against. Are you fighting against flesh and blood? Are you fighting against principalities? So, unless you understand your clear position or your, you have the clear status of your life, you cannot be able to get your deliverance. You can go from one pastor to another. Man of God, I'm struggling. Man of God, I'm struggling. You cannot get your deliverance. Why? Because that man of God probably does not have the revelation. Because you can only be freed not by the power of a prophet or by the power of a person, but by the power of the spirit, which is the revelation that comes from God. Are you hearing that? So you need... You need to understand the position. Now, when we go to the state of possession, possession is a state of owing. When you are possessed, you are being owned. Now, it's different from a person who are being oppressed because the person who is being oppressed, he is not owned by a demon. No. But when you are being owned by a demon, it simply means you are a product of a demon. You cannot do anything without consultation of a demon. You cannot do anything without the power of the evil spirit moving you or using you to do it. Why? Because you are being owned by a demon, which is a scenario or a situation that is totally different from oppression. From oppression or a cutter PSC, you can do something, you can do something, you can go to university, you can cross the border, you can go to Namibia, South Africa to seek for a job. You can go to America, Canada, UK. You can go there. But now the end result, which is touching money, you can touch it, but it will not do anything. Why? Because there is a demon of oppression. So it touches the end result, that is oppression. It limits the desired end result, that is oppression. But when it comes to possession, possession is a state of being owned by something. If I'm holding this iPad right now, I say, this is my iPad, which means I am possessing the iPad. The iPad cannot do what it wants. It do what I want. It works and operates according to my desire. I'm the one who installs softwares and applications upon this iPad. It cannot install softwares on its own. Why? Because it does not have the owner. So when you are possessed, it means you are owned by somebody or you are owned by something. Now, that is the most difficult part of, 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 
people's lives whereby when a demon comes inside you, it enters in your soul, it enters in your blood, it enters inside your fluid, it enters and manipulates even your speech. It begins to control you. It downloads application whereby you will begin to live according to your honor, which is the demon. You will begin to live according to your honor, which is the demon. Have you ever seen people that are doing witchcraft? They are being owned by the power of witchcraft. Therefore, they operate according to their honor. If they do not do according to their honor, then it becomes a challenge. Are you hearing what I'm saying right now? So, the possession is very dangerous. It is a state whereby a demon comes and enters inside you. That's what we call katakomenos. Katakomenos is a Greek word which simply defines the state of being possessed. When you are possessed, you are in a state of katakomenos. Katakomenos is different of katapiesi. There are two things that are different. So you really need to understand your position before you do anything. If you are being owned by a demon, you need to get rid and override and overthrow and overrule the owner who is owning you. If you cannot overthrow and override, you will not get your deliverance. How do you do that? You can do that through receiving prayer from another man of God or by praying yourself. As I have said in the beginning, said in the beginning that you cannot get total deliverance unless you understand the current status of your life or the current position of your life. You need to understand where you are standing, where you are standing so that you can be able to fight against what is fighting against you. What is fighting against you? Are you, are, are you hearing me? So, katakomenos is a state of being possessed. So, when we see in the Bible, in the book of Mark chapter 5, verse 1 to 9, there is a man there who was possessed by thousands of demons. The Bible calls him Legion. That man, he was in a state of katakomenos. Katakomenos simply means he is being owned. Now, look at this man. The Bible says when there were demons inside him, the demons made him to leave his house and he went to the grave. Why would a man go and stay into the grave? It is because he is being controlled by something that is inside him. He is being owned by something that is inside him. That a state of katakomenos. So, when you are being owned by a demon, you are in a state of no decision. You are in a state of no success. You are in a state of no victory, which simply means whatever that you'd want to achieve by yourself, you cannot achieve it. Why? Because you are in a state of katakomenos. We are in, you are in a state of being owned by somebody. You are in a state of being owned by a demon. So you live according to the demon. You live according to your honor, which is the demon. I don't know if you are hearing me. So, the man was possessed by so many demons. They were owning him. No wonder why you go to the grave. And when they try to tie, to try to tie him with chains, he will break the chains. Why? Because there is a power that is owning him that breaks those kind of chains. He started to tear himself. How can a normal person begin to tear and scratch his, his body to an extent that blood will begin to come out? It's not practical. It's not possible. But he had to do it. Why? Because he's being owned by something that is more than him. He's being owned by something that has power over him. So he is in a state of kate komenos, which is a Greek word which means possessed or possession. So, what state are you, my brother? Are you in a state of katapiesi or are you in a state of katakomenos? Are you in a state of being oppressed or are you in a state of being possessed? If you are in a state of being possessed, you really now need to understand what kind of a spirit is possessing me. How do you know the spirit that is possessing you? You can know by the acts of your life what you do daily. Are you hearing me? What you do daily? If you are a person who loves to go around and sleep with women, it means that you, you are being owned by a demon of lust. If you are a person who loves to steal, you are being owned by a demon of stealing. If you are a person who can never have success in your life, you are trying everything and everything is failing. You are being owned by the demon of failure. If you are a person, you are trying to be successful, you are trying to be rich, but you can't be rich, you remain with nothing. You are being owned by the demon of poverty. You are in a state of kate komenosi. You need to break 
out of that state? How do you break out? Understand your position. When you understand your position, strategize and you know how to attack. And wonder why you know you should know that when it comes to prayers of deliverance, you must strategize. Remember, Jesus said, These kinds of demons does not go by prayer only, but by prayer and fasting. What does Jesus mean? He was just giving a strategy. There are certain strategies that must be applied on certain demons or certain problems in life. No wonder why last time I was teaching you about sacrificing and raising out. It is a strategical prayer because some kinds of demons, you cannot break them unless you understand the state of their, of their way coming into your life. How did they come in your life? How did they start possessing you? How did they start oppressing you? Unless you understand, then you strategize. Jesus said it. It's not only by prayer. But include fasting. That's strategic. So you need to understand that. If you cannot understand that, that's when you can move from one pastor to the other, from one prophet to the other, and yet you cannot see anything. You cannot see deliverance. He was possessed by thousands and thousands of demons. He was in a state of catechomenos. What state are you, my brother, my sister? What state are you, my brother, my sister? Are you in a state of kata piercing? Or are you in a state of kate? Komenos. These are two things that are different, my brother, my sister. You really need to understand it. Now, you need to understand that both of those states, kata piercing or kata komenos, which is possession and, 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 and oppression, all of them, you need Jesus. How do you now, now we have to invite Jesus. You must have Jesus inside you. When you have Jesus inside you now, he begins to be the light on your feet. When he becomes the light on your feet, now you have defeated two things with one stone. You defeat oppression. Why? Because oppression goes before you and it goes in your way to target the end result. So now if you receive Jesus and you have Jesus as, you, as your master and the personal Lord and Savior, which means you have lighted your way, which means your, your, your way is light. Are you hearing that? Which means your way is led. Then you will be in a state of, of, of like the state of David when he said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. For he makes me to lie down in greener pastures. He restores my soul. Are you hearing that? Are you hearing that? So, you need to, to be with Jesus because the Bible says in the book of John chapter 8 verse 36, if the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. So, who is the son? Who is the son? He is Jesus Christ. When you have Jesus, Jesus lights your way. Jesus opens your path. Jesus opens all the closed door. That's why the Bible says, a thousand shall fall by the left hand and ten thousand by the right hand. But they shall not come close to you. Why? Because you have Jesus. So if you have Jesus on your side, there is no man who can come against you. If God is for, with us, who can be against us? If God says yes, who can say no? So when you say yes to Jesus, Jesus will come in a position where he says yes to you my son and when you come into agreement because remember for a miracle to happen or for Jesus to come into action there has to be an agreement number one your agreement with Jesus and the agreement of Jesus with you the Bible says if two people gather in my name in agreement I shall be there which means there is something that is important whereby if you go and pray or gather if you gather without the agreement of Jesus Christ you will not see Jesus Christ but yet you are gathering are you hearing that? So if you agree with Jesus and Jesus agrees with you, you can overtake and override the state of kata piercy and you can overtake and override the state of kata komenos, which are the paths of deliverances that people should understand, oppression and being possessed. Are you hearing that, my brother, my sister, wherever you're watching me? God will never allow the oppressors to live like that. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah 30, verse 20, their children also shall be as aforetime, and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all that oppress them. Which means oppression, God is against oppression. God is against oppression. God is against oppression. So if you are in a state of oppression, punishment is coming to the oppressors. Usually when we are talking about oppression, oppression also, here's a system whereby you have a, 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 maybe a relative or an enemy who just monitors whatever that you are doing. And then when he sees that you want to do something that is successful in your life, then he goes to the spiritualist. He releases something that comes against you to target the end result. Those are oppressors. They are using their authority unjustly. It's different from possessing. So my brother, my sister, you need to understand that when it comes to deliverance, deliverance is real. 
If you listen to those pastors who have nothing, who, who are not spiritual, who have never fasted, all they know is to go and seek powers from evil spirits. When they no longer need those powers, they come on camera, they begin to attack people. Oh, it's not everyone who uses evil spirit. If you have never fasted, go and fast, pray, seek the Lord. You have the strategical prayer by understanding what exactly is your situation, what is fighting against you. If you don't know what is fighting against you, you can never have deliverance. You need to know your enemy. You need to know who is fighting against you. You need to know the position of your enemy. Are you getting that? Are you getting that? See, look at the Bible. Well, when Goliath could come and stand outside, Saul and his company they had gone to fight against the Philistines, but they could not fight against them. Why? They were under oppression because Goliath was not in Israel. Goliath was on the other side of the Philistine on the mountain. And Israelites, they were on the mountain that is in the southern side of Samaria. They were there. Goliath was not with them, but he could just come out and begin to speak. And the Bible says the Israelites, including the king, they will begin to run back into the tents. That that is a part of cutter piercing, which is oppression. So Goliath is using his authority unjustly. By just speaking, the Israelites will run. By just talking, the Israelites will run. Why? Because they were afraid of him. So they were oppressed. Forty days they were in the mountain, failing to fight their, their, their enemy. Because they didn't understand how his enemy operates. They didn't understand the weakness. So the reason why you need to understand what is fighting against you, it is good because you need to understand the weakness. When you stand your enemy, when you understand about your enemy, you go deeper into your enemy and you find the weaknesses. When you find the weaknesses, then when you begin to pray now, attack on the areas of weaknesses. When you attack on the areas of weaknesses, you can get delivered by yourself without the pastor. Are you hearing that? Demons, they have weaknesses. They have weaknesses. They have weaknesses. No matter how they operate this oppression or opposition, they have weaknesses. Attack on the weaknesses. That's why you see when David is coming, he just heard Korea talking. And he said, who is that uncircumcised Philistine who is speaking against the defiling the armies of God, blaspheming the armies of God? And he picked the five stones. And why would David pick the stones? Why? Why? He was given a knife. He didn't use it. He was given a bow and arrow. He didn't take it. He was given even an ammo. He didn't take it. He didn't. But he had to pick the stones. Why? Because David, when he listened to Goliath talking, he looked back and peeped at Goliath and he saw that, no, Goliath is covered everywhere. But there is one position that is uncovered, which is the forehead. And the forehead, that's where there is a lack of a person. So he had to go and pick the stones when he was going to fight against him because he had known the weakness of Goliath. When it comes to the sword, he has strength. When it comes to using ob objects to fight, he is very strong. He can do that. When it comes to everywhere, he is very strong because he is wearing metal uniform. But there, you cannot put metal uniform on because that's where the eyes are. Every demon has a weakness. Every demon, it has a weakness. So you need to start your enemy, understand your position. Are you being oppressed? Are you possessed? What state of position are you? Are you in kata piesi or you are in kata komenos? What position are you? If you understand, look through and realize and understand, strategize according to the weakness that your enemy has. Because every demon, it has a weakness. Are you getting that, my brother, my sister? Therefore, you need to understand that when you get the weakness, God will stand with you because the Bible says, the battle is not yours, but the battle is mine. So when you see the weakness, then you proceed in faith without fear. Then you begin to attack by your prayers. By attacking, it does not mean that you are the one who is attacking, but God is attacking on your behalf because he says, the battle is not yours, but the battle is mine. But for God to take over the battle, you need to realize the weaknesses of the enemy. Are you hearing that? So wherever you are, I want you to put yourself on an assignment. Think in your life, sit down. You have been facing a lot of things. You have been facing challenges. You have been facing difficulties in your day-to-day -day life. For so many years, you are not being married. You have tried this. You have tried this. You know, I'm talking to some people right now. You have went to maybe five, six, seven countries only to look for a job, but you can't get it. You are wondering why you have left Zimbabwe, you have left your country, you go, you've gone somewhere, but you can't find a job. What is happening? Who has followed me here? 
When you are in operation, they send taskmasters. When you go into the flight, you are there with your taskmasters. They cross the borders. They don't, they don't need visas and passports. No. They cross the borders. They go beyond the borders. As you can go, they can go. So I want you to put yourself on an assignment. Think deep on your situation. For how many years, my, my brother? For how many years, my sister? Have you been suffering? Why are you not breaking out? Why are you not breaking through? Why? Think. Identify the state of your position. Are you under oppression or you are under, under, under possession? Whereby you are possessed by a demon. How do you see that? Check your dreams. Are you filled with the spirit of God? If you are filled with the spirit of God, if you don't have nightmares, you are, you are not possessed. You are not possessed. You are under oppression. But if you see that you have nightmares, you have dreams that are bad, and you cannot speak in tongues, you are attacked everywhere, and, and you are not filled, spirit filled. You, you sometimes fear weirdness. The fear that always comes, a perpetual fear that always comes on you. You are possessed. Something is owning you. That's why you have that much fear. Are you hearing that? Because those who are oppressed, they are not fearful. They are risk takers. They are not fearful. They are risk takers. But the problem is that the enemy releases taskmasters and stand and close the door so that they will not achieve the end result, the desired end result. So put yourself on an assignment for days. Take through your life. See what is happening with your life. See the position of your life. See the state of your life. Only then after that, you can be able to understand now the next step because I'm going to come again and teach you how to break out of kata piesi and how to break out of kata kominos. It is very easy. Continue joining us here and you will learn. So wherever you are watching, it's time to put yourself under an assignment. Survey your life. Survey your life. Survey your life and understand. Are you hearing that? So I pray for you wherever you are. May God continue to give you the grace. May God continue to guide you in Jesus' mighty name. Until we meet again, shalom. God bless you. You are watching Prophetic Messages with Apostle Petrus Alpha. For more of these prophetic transformative messages, subscribe to our channel. You can also visit our website, www.petrusalpha.org. To support the ministry through partnership, offerings, and seeds, contact us on email info at petrosalpha.org or thegracemanpetros at gmail.com. You can as well easily call us on WhatsApp number plus 260-770-277-358 plus 33-755. 795-938